We have in the past covered the remarkable legends, and in particular, the intriguing enormous tombs which cover the Mediterranean island of Sardinia, long claimed as the resting places of some 800 or so ancient giants who once belonged to a now lost race of beings. It is undeniable that the scale of these inner chambers is of considerable size, most capable of housing remains of a size of 15 feet or more in height. There are, undeniably, many compelling pieces of written reports, and indeed photographic evidence of the discovery of ancient giant remains. Yet nearly all seemingly vanish into thin air, many shortly following the mention of the involvement of certain academic institutions. Such as the claim 3,000 or so remains claimed to have been excavated by Ralph Glidden on Santa Catalina Island, located within the Channel Islands during the early 20th century, all of which now lost. However, like the many ancient Uparts we share, there are that rare few which have fortunately made their way into the hands of private collectors or individuals lacking any agenda but that of revealing the truth of these objects' existence. And one such scenario involves that of a Luigi Muscus, a man who actually owns farmland on the island of Sardinia, upon which he claims to have found gigantic molars of a hominid appearance. In tandem with her appearance on the program Coast to Coast AM in the US, Paola Harris shared his extraordinary photos. After looking into the artifacts ourselves, we have indeed found an argument which will undoubtedly be used to dismiss the finds as that of ancient cave bear teeth. Yet the root patterning, and indeed crown of the molar, like that of the partial jaw also shared, seem to us to be more reminiscent of giant human skulls rather than the patterning of prehistoric bears. What's more, it must not be ignored that surrounding the claimed discovery site are indeed the aforementioned and gigantic ruins and the legends of individuals large enough to have once housed such teeth in their mouths, which all persist on the island to this day. What do you think? An ancient giant's molar and lower jaw? Or simply that of the remains of a prehistoric animal? It is a legend and indeed series of discoveries which we find highly compelling.